Welcome to this video where we'll be looking at Ripple Phaser, the new plugin from Minimal Audio. Now to those of us of a certain age, phasing will be forever associated with 70 string machines. So the first test to give any phaser is to compare it to the classic pedal, the small stone phaser. So before going any further, here is the sound of the Arturia Selena that I've routed through a small stone phaser, responsible for those classic jar sounds that actually originated on an eminent organ. So here's the sound of the Selena without the phaser. And here's the sound of the Selena with the phaser. Now keep in mind the small stone phaser is a mono in, mono out design. So here it is again after a bit of stereo jiggery pokery, which you had to do anyway back in the day. Now with that fresh in your mind, here is my quick attempt on ripple phaser. To emulate that high frequency roll off, I've set the mode to low pass, which I think gets me in the ballpark. However, that's merely my attempt to clone the sound. It's much easier to get a better sound instantly by simply switching the mode to classic. You lose the top end fall off, but the end result in my opinion is a much more useful sound. And of course you can simply dial in more notches for a bigger and more interesting sound. Now that we've got that comparison out of the way, as things have moved on somewhat from the 70s, we can expect a lot more from a phaser today than way back then. Phasers have always been about creating movement and adding life to the sound, and that's exactly the area that Minimal Audio specialise in with their existing audio plugins, and Ripple Phaser is no exception. So to see where Minimal Audio have taken phasing, let's listen to some examples on drums. So let's have a listen to the unaffected drum pattern. And now with the effect of Robocomb applied to it. So here's another example called Spinal Phase. Of course, you can also simply grab the small circle in the center of the Ripple Phaser screen and tweak away for some easy edits. Of course, the phaser can be synced to the tempo of your door, so the long, languid phasing strings that we heard earlier can be timed to sync exactly with settings from one bar right up to 32 bars. The LFO sync also comes in handy for transitions and SFX, so with a simple SFX patch such as this one in current, we can warp it into something like this. Overall, if you're looking to add a phaser to your effects collection, then Ripple Phaser has a lot to offer, from the extreme examples we've just looked at, to the more subtle effects such as these on a Rhodes patch. I've 
placed links for Ripple Phaser in the description. And if you've enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing. It's free of charge and a thumbs up always helps. So until the next video, thanks for watching.